was obviously invited to the awards many years ago. We won the World Team Award in 2001, I think, here in Monaco. Um, that sort of put cricket on the map a bit and um, became involved in some of the projects. Um, so I was gradually sort of um, exposed to what Laureus was doing and then uh, was lucky enough to be voted on as a Laureus World Sports Academy member. And a big part of what we do there is the Sport for Good Foundation, uh, which supports about 140 projects all around the world. And um, I've been involved with those uh, each and every year. And I love being the work that Laureus does with that Sport for Good Foundation. Um, not really. I mean, I, I thought the teams were pretty evenly matched up until the moment Ben Stokes wasn't in the team. And that was such a, a large hole in England's squad. And he was an X-Factor player. He gave them that sort of belief and that strength. And very combative sort of player and once he left it left a big hole in the middle of that side and um, I think if he was playing in this series England did well enough they got themselves in positions where they could probably win the game but they didn't quite capitalise on it and um, so that was really the defining moment of the series before it started and um, once he was out of the side the Australian bowling attack he's a world class bowling attack and so I wasn't surprised we won the series um, 4-0 probably a little bit surprising but um, I thought we would win the series you know, his form wasn't there, Mo, and he's a very good player, but he, he was one of the guys that um, didn't live up to his reputation in Australia, and Australia really went hard at him, particularly with the ball. I mean, they bowled short, and they thought there was a weakness there, and I think his form with the ball suffered from that. Um, he's a quality player, but he, he had a poor series in Australia, and, um, yeah, I think when, you, when your form's off, you, you think the whole world's against you, and maybe he didn't really take in what was going on around because it was a great series with... Um, in, in regards to crowds, I mean, it was full and the atmosphere was fantastic, but um, when you're not playing well and things are against you, um, yeah, everything seems bad. Australia versus England, yeah, we'll get full crowds. every, And it's the same when we go to England, an Ashes series, um, we'll probably get crowds for the next 50, 100 years, but um, unfortunately, there's only a few series like that left in world cricket. It's more of a franchise model, T20. Um, um, and you saw that last year in Australia when the big bash crowds were bigger than the, the crowds for Australia versus England, Australia versus New Zealand. That, I mean, that seems a worry to me that, um, that the crowd's more connected with the Big Bash team than with the national side. Um, and maybe that's Cricket Australia's fault in the past because you know, we haven't always played our best side. We've sent players off on tours rather than representing Australia in the T20. Um, but we got it right in the last, um, the last couple of months where we've put pretty much our best T20 side on the park and kept them by day one and we started to win. So um, I think if you're going to play that at the national level, you've got to give it respect and put your best team on the park, not um, a half-hearted side. Red Bull cricket this summer, they're just focusing on white ball cricket. Do you yeah. see that happening in Australia as well? I hope not. I mean, that's um, it probably will, but um, you know, I think that that's a real shame, particularly for those guys. I mean, yeah, uh, you know, they'll end up their career. Sure, they'll have some you know, nice financial rewards, but. They'll probably sit back one day and go, geez, I wonder how good I might have been at Test Cricket if I really gave it a you know, 100% shot. But, but that's a personal decision and a business decision these days. So, you know, it's not for me to say it's wrong, but I just think that maybe they'll regret that later on. But, you know, they probably thought about it. And if they're not getting picked in the in certain teams, then it, maybe it's easier playing white ball cricket. The financial rewards are there and it's less exposure. And, you, you know, the game's forgotten 10 minutes after they're played. So um, there's not as much pressure.